High above the North Pole, the polar vortex spins, a vast cold system shaping our winter. Contained by the polar night jet stream, it keeps Arctic cold locked away. But if the vortex weakens, frigid air escapes south, bringing icy blasts to the UK. That's when frost, ice and snow become real possibilities. The polar vortex, winter's unseen architect, drives every cold snap and snowstorm. When the polar vortex is strong, Arctic air stays trapped up north. The jet stream flows straight, bringing the UK mild, wet winters. But if the vortex weakens, it can wobble and split. Arctic air escapes south, plunging into Europe and the UK. That's when the UK can flip from rain to snow almost overnight. To spot a weakening vortex, meteorologists look high into the stratosphere at the 10 millibar temperature chart. This level, about 30 kilometers up, is the vortex's core. In early winter, it's usually below minus 70 degrees, a sign of a strong vortex. But now, in December 2025, we're seeing a warming trend over Siberia. Temperatures are rising above average, hinting at early disruption. This is called a wave one pattern. Energy from below pushes the vortex off center. The vortex is being nudged toward Greenland, stretching and weakening it. This is the first domino in a chain that could change our surface weather. Models predict this warming will intensify in the next week or two. If temperatures spike by 40, 50 degrees Celsius, we could see a full sudden stratospheric warming. But these changes take time, usually two weeks, to reach the ground. The 10 MeBa chart is our early warning system for dramatic winter shifts. Right now, it's flashing a yellow light. History shows what happens when the polar vortex weakens. In winter 2009 to 10, a major SSW flipped the pattern. The UK plunged into its coldest spell in 30 years with heavy snow and persistent frost. The cold air came from the continent, not the Atlantic, thanks to a blocking high over Scandinavia. In January 1987, another SSW split the vortex, leading to record snowfall in southeast England. Both times, stratospheric disruption led to high pressure blocking the usual mild flow. These events are textbook cases of the vortex to surface connection. They prove that what happens 30 kilometers up can bring snow to our doorsteps. A weakened vortex stacks the odds for a cold, snowy UK winter. It's not a guarantee, other factors matter, but it's a powerful signal. These case studies remind us the stratosphere holds the keys to winter's extremes. When the vortex stumbles, winter can roar. The Beast from the East in 2018 is a perfect example. It started with a dramatic SSW in mid-February. Stratospheric temperatures soared by 50 degrees east. The vortex broke apart and winds reversed. For 10 days, UK weather stayed normal, then the signal arrived. High pressure built over Scandinavia, steering icy air from Siberia across the UK. As this air crossed the North Sea, it picked up moisture, fuel for heavy snow. By late February, the UK faced blizzards, record cold and widespread disruption. Red warnings, closed schools and blocked roads followed. The event showed how a disrupted vortex can unleash extreme cold, even in a warming world. The 2018 beast is now the benchmark for stratospheric-driven cold spells. When we see stratospheric warming, we ask, could it happen again? The answer depends on how the atmosphere responds in the weeks ahead. The beast from the east is a reminder. The vortex's power is real. 
So, what do these early stratospheric signals mean for the UK this December? Patience is key, the atmosphere moves slowly. Any impact from the current warming will take 10 to 14 days to reach the surface. That puts the window for change just before Christmas and into the new year. Until then, expect typical Atlantic-driven weather, mild, wet and breezy. The real shift comes if a blocking high forms over Greenland or Scandinavia. Without it, cold air can't reach us. The Atlantic stays in charge. Not every SSW brings a beast from the east. Sometimes the connection fizzles. The current signs raise the odds for a cold, snowy end to the year. But nothing is certain. We're in a waiting game, watching for the models to hint at blocking highs. The next two weeks are crucial for clues. Nature loves surprises, so stay tuned. December's story is still being written. Let's look ahead to Christmas. For the next week, the stratospheric warming won't affect us. Expect classic early December weather. Rain, wind and some hill snow in Scotland are likely, but nothing dramatic. In the second week, the jet stream may weaken, allowing brief colder spells and frosty nights. By the third week, December 19th to 25th, the window opens for a major cold snap. If the SSW is strong and a blocking high forms, cold air from the east or north could flood in. That's when a white Christmas becomes possible. But this is the most uncertain part of the forecast. The models could change, the vortex could recover, or the blocking high might not appear. The potential for snow is real, but not guaranteed. We'll need to watch the forecast closely, day by day. The signs are promising for winter drama. Will it deliver? Only time will tell. The polar vortex isn't the only force shaping our winter. El Niño and La Niña in the Pacific can nudge the jet stream, tilting the odds for cold or mild spells. The quasi-biennial oscillation, QBO, winds high in the tropical stratosphere, can also influence the vortex's strength. An easterly QBO phase favours a weaker vortex and more SSWs. Closer to home, the North Atlantic Oscillation, NAO, measures pressure differences that drive our weather. A positive NAO means strong jet stream and mild, wet UK winters. A negative NAO weakens the jet, allowing blocking highs and cold easterlies. All these patterns interact, making long-range forecasts tricky. The polar vortex might be weak, but if other signals disagree, the outcome is uncertain. It's a giant atmospheric puzzle with many moving pieces. That's why winter forecasting is part science, part art. The interplay of these drivers will decide our winter's fate. To sum up, the polar vortex is winter's master controller. A strong vortex locks cold away, giving the UK mild, wet winters. A weak or split vortex lets Arctic air spill south, raising the odds of snow and severe cold. Right now, the vortex is showing signs of weakening. Classic setup for a pattern change. History tells us to take these signals seriously. 1987, 2010 and 2018 all began this way. But the atmosphere needs time to respond. Expect any big changes around Christmas and New Year. The next 10 days are critical as we watch for blocking highs to form. The chance of a white Christmas is higher, but not certain. The polar vortex has opened the door to a more dramatic winter. Other factors matter, but the stratosphere is calling the shots. Whether we get a dusting or a blizzard, this winter promises to be fascinating. Keep your hats and gloves ready. The story of winter 2025 is just beginning.